Hello and welcome to the Lead Generator Machine Tool, how to become a lead machine for your business. And this is the way to do it when you're doing guerrilla marketing, where you're trying to generate free traffic. And let's get started. I'm also going to talk about how to do it with ads in the right after in the second section. So let's do the first, the guerrilla marketing. All right. So first, what you're going to do is you flip open to whatever month it is. And we're going to use this as an example. And we're going to use February. And uh, you can see here that um, let's go over that day right here. The first thing you're going to do is on, let's say, February the 22nd is you're going to post um, your videos posted. So that's just basically how many videos I posted on that day. OK, across all channels. So TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, whatever total there. And then the next thing is total views. Now, the views is the only one that I do every seven days. The reason is just usually stats on all the metrics are always every seven days or every 30. So and I went and put um, the number for the last seven days there. And then in another seven days from now, I'll put it there and so on. So hopefully that makes sense. Next is video replies. That just simply means, did you reply to anyone on TikTok by video? And you can do it in other platforms as well. Usually they're a great lead generator. So I make sure that I do those at least a couple times a week. Reach outs. So how many times do you actually reach out to someone? So whenever you, someone um, say comments in your, in, in your social media saying, hey, I want this. And then you reach out to them and you follow them and message them. That's a reach out. And they're great. And I'll show you how to get more of those reach outs in a second. But so you'll put lots of, you'll put that number in there every day. So I had 11 there. Conversations. Anytime someone emails you, comments and asks for a question and you message back to them, this isn't an initial reach out. So this is the second time that you talk to them. That would be a conversation. Anytime you reply to a question, um, either on uh, TikTok Messenger or comments or anything like that. So I had two yesterday. So I put two. Email opt ins. How many people opted into your list? So I'll put this in at the end of the night. Active leads or sales. This will be um, different depending on what you're promoting. So if you're in the first commission challenge or the builder all, um, then you pr probably put in an active lead. If you're selling something like a weight loss product or another niche, you would just put in the number of the sale, how many sales you got, or you could also do dollar amounts if you want to do that as well. Or you can make a set, a, just pop in another column and do dollar amounts. Okay, so I got so far, so I got two there. Now went live. I try to do a couple a week because they're a huge light lead generator. So I've done one. So you see, I have to do more. And then reviewed my ideas list. What does that mean? So I reviewed it already, and that is simply a brainstorming list that I go through every morning, and it has all my great oh, act um, hooks. I keep and I check it every morning whenever I think of good ideas, good hooks for my videos. I write them here and I keep an ongoing list. So anything new along the day that I think of when I'm out walking, usually I come up with a lot of good ideas. So when I get home, I'll write it down and then I'll review them for the next morning. The, all those are the videos I'll make. And um, this is how I come up with some really good videos. And I think of you'll start thinking of great ideas all the time. So make sure you record them just like Jerry Seinfeld does. He writes down all his good jokes every day. He has like a million folders of jokes. So make sure you document it somewhere. Okay because they could be extremely valuable. And then I reviewed that. So that's my ideas list. Now, the stats, this is where it becomes really important. Um, the reason this is so valuable is because now I can start looking and seeing, okay, I'm averaging four videos a day, video posts a day, and I'm getting a half, I'm averaging a half of lead a day. So if I wanna get um, two leads a day, then I'm gonna have to, get my daily average up. I'm going to have to times, I have to do 16 video posts a day. So you can see how this is becoming valuable. Now it's actually at my stats are actually better than this, but it's just because I've just started recording uh, my stats on this sheet that they're a little under performing, but they actually usually are better, but you can see how this can start to become powerful. So for example, we're going to go over here and you're going to put in your monthly sales goal, or you could put in your leads goal or both. So here you put your dollar amount. I want to bring in $3,000 roughly of US every month. And so for my builder all campaign, that means I need to get five leads a day. And it's in red because you're going to enter that information in. Okay. If you're not selling builder all and you're doing another niche, um, then you would just put, you would engineer, calculate what, how many leads you need a day to get that dollar amount, whatever your goal is. Okay. And the reason this is important is because it comes is because of the next few metrics. So my daily average right now, I'm only averaging a half of lead a day. So my goal though is five. So to get that up, I'm going to have to up a lot of my things over here. I'm going to have to up my video posts. I'm going to have to up my video views. 
which means I'm going to have to come up with better content, better hooks, better leads. I'm going to have to reach out to more people. I'm going to have to message more people on TikTok. And I'm going to have to um, do things that generate, basically, you just double, double everything. Make more videos. That's what it all comes down to. And the more you do it, the better you get. Now, I, I talked about how you can get more reach outs, more conversations going. And you'll see in the top of my TikTok channel, as an example, you can see that I have a, um, a video posted and pinned right at the top that says, hey, reach out to me for XYZ product or reach out from, to me if you want to learn how to do this. And then people comment below saying me, 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 because I told people to say me in the comments and to get this thing, to get this free thing or to get whatever it is. And then you'll start, it'll start snowballing and everybody will start commenting and then you reach out to them. You message them, hey, you asked me to, uh, for this free thing. Here it is. That's a reach out. And that's how I get those. And it's really important to have those at the top of your TikTok channel. And that will create a lot of conversations and a lot of reach outs for whatever product you're selling. Put your social media link in right here so I can, because you're going to send this to me and I'm going to hold you accountable every Sunday. And I, that way I can quickly go to your social media and see what you're doing. If you're doing it all, if you're doing any work, if you're not doing work, and if you are actually, um, I can give you tips on your social media. Okay. And these little black triangles are for, um, just to remind you, if you forget any of this stuff, it's just little notes to tell you how to do this. Okay. Let's move on. So the next thing, if you have different campaigns, then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to duplicate it. Okay. And do it again. So for example, I have a TikTok uh, fitness weight loss product. So I keep it separate. All my TikTok video videos go in this one. And then all my builder all videos go in this one. It's much easier and much more organized. And then over here annually, you go, it goes and posts everything annually for you. So you can see exactly what's going on. Um, monthly overview. So, so far I have 29 posted. I got, da, 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 I got two leads so far. So it's very important. It's very nice to have all that information and it'll do it for the, you'll, when you go to use this, it'll show it for the next 12 months. Okay. I'm going to enter in those months as we go along here in 2022 depending when you jump on. Now, if you're advertising, this will also be added to your lead machine. This is very important. And we're gonna go over to campaign stats. So you're gonna put in, um, if you're advertising, you're gonna put in how much you're spending, okay? And this is just for one campaign, okay? If you're doing it two different advertising campaigns, you'll make two spreadsheets. You'll just duplicate this here. Okay, just go over here and duplicate it. Okay, so let's go. So you put your ad spend in there, how many emails did you get total for the campaign? So that's going to change on a regular basis. So sales, um, how many sales did you get generate so far? This is this will automatically calculate your cost per email. So you don't have to enter anything. It'll automatically do it for you. Um, landing page opt-in rate and email open rate and average click rate. So you're going to get those stats in your builder all. Okay, those are all in your builder all account. And you're going to go and check those out because it's important that keep a track of your landing page opt-in rates. Okay, then this is profit loss upfront. So this is how much money you made from selling your first product. Okay, not your second product, just your first product. Remember the goal of your first product is just to make, to pay for the advertising. So in this example, my ad spend was 50, my sales was 50. So my return on ad spend was 100%. So I broke even. Now this is, this here, the back end means any products you sell after your first product. So if I go and sell Java Burn as my first product, and then I go and sell EpiPure as my second product, EpiPure is my back end, right? So I sent out seven emails for Java Burn. That's done. I made a couple of sales that paid for some advertising. Now I'm going to send out emails to the same list. And if I make a couple of sales on EpiPure, from now, those emails, that's my back end sales. That's my real profit. So that's why it says here net 100 because I it's not including the front end. It's only including the back end profits. Okay. So it calculates all that for you. And that's how you do it. Okay. So that's how you become a lead magnet machine. It's very important. It all starts with videos. And of course, if you're advertising, obviously ads. So make sure you track it daily. And that hopefully will help. If you have any questions, message me right away. And let's get on it. Talk to you soon.